Hey everybody, welcome back to Harl's Garage. It's oil change time here. So I'd figure I'd show you how to change the oil in your 2019 plus Ford Ranger truck. It's not a very difficult job, really only takes a few minutes to do, and you can save yourself some money in the process. As the title of the video shows, I'm going to be changing uh, my oil out to Amsoil, their signature series. This particular blend of motor oil allows for 25,000 miles of use or one year, whichever comes first. This is the oil filter I'll be using, which is also from Amsoil, which allows 15,000 miles of use or one year. And you can see the part number there. Now the 2019 plus series of uh, Ford Rangers here takes 6.2 quarts of SAE 5W30 motor oil. So to do this, you'll need, of course, your oil, a 15 millimeter socket so that you can remove the skid plate along with the uh, drain plug and a container to drain your uh, old oil in as well. All right, so we'll get started now. All right, first thing I like to do is actually remove the cap here oil cap here on the top. Uh, this actually allows for when you remove the drain plug. Um, let's actually set this on the hood here so don't forget it. This allows um, for air to enter, kind of air to enter in the system and let uh, it actually um, drain out a little faster. All right, I'm underneath the truck here. And as you can see, there is a skid plate here which um, covers the bottom of the oil pan. Squeeze back here a little more. So there's four 15 millimeter bolts. You'll just loosen these up right here. So one, two, and then three, four. You'll loosen, loosen these up and take this uh, skid plate off. This will, I've, <laughs> I've changed the oil while leaving it on the first time I actually changed my oil on this truck. And it's, since the drain plugs here on the side, it'll shoot out fine at first. And then it'll proceed to cover um, your oil or your skid plate here, which will get oil everywhere. So it's kind of a mess to clean up. So it's real simple. Just takes a few seconds to take this off and it'll make um, changing the oil a whole lot cleaner. I should also note on these front um, bolts here, you actually only need to loosen them just a couple turns and the plate actually slides out that way instead. So you only need to remove the back two and loosen these front ones just a little bit so you can slide the plate out. All right, so here's that uh, oil drain plug right here. We'll take that same 15 millimeter socket and loosen that up, remove it, and the oil will come out. Now, um, I should also note I'm under here um, I don't need to put the truck either on a lift or on jack stands or on a, or on ramps rather. Um, I do have a two and a half inch level kit or so I can fit under here quite easily. If you happen to be a little bit bigger, um, you may need to still use a, a lift or jack stands or a ramp. But even now with 33s on here, I can fit in here with plenty of room to not only film, but also change oil without any problems. There we go. Managed not to get it everywhere. A little bit on my hand, but I'll live. All right, it's draining, so we'll let that drain out, and then we'll uh, get the oil filter next. All right, once your oil's all, all the way drained, go ahead and replace drain plug in 
and you're just going to snug it down. Do not over tighten it. Definitely don't want to strip out these threads. Now you won't have your oil spill out. Ask me how I know. All right, to change the oil filter out, we'll move inside the driver's side wheel well area here. What there'll be, there'll be this little rubberized uh, service panel here. You'll remove these push pins. There's really only about four, three or four total you'll need to remove. And you can pull it back underneath the brake line. Just be careful tucking it in under your brake line so you don't put any extra stress on it. You can see right here, that's my uh, existing fuel filter that we'll need, or oil filter rather, that we'll need to remove. Underneath the oil filter, there's a little tray area that leads down to a funnel. And uh, that's where the oil, when you slowly back it up, will come off and come down into there. So I'll show you that area now. So the funnel for the oil filter is located here, just right by the front axle. You can see, here's my shock, my CV joint there, lower control arm. Just follow it up right here and you'll see this little funnel right here. That's where that little channel I just showed you, um, that's where the oil filters out here. So just place your pan underneath here, close to your tire. That way you don't get oil everywhere. All right, so to remove this, we're just gonna turn it counterclockwise and we'll, we'll leave it sitting kind of for a second, let some of the oil drain out of the filter and then uh, we'll go ahead and replace it. So I've got it backed up off the threads. You can hear it draining out. You can actually see it draining out. And that's draining down below right here, right into my little uh, uh, container. All right. And here's the existing oil filter. This is also an Amsoil oil filter. Um, I didn't mention before, I already had Amsoil at about 2,000 miles. I changed to their, um, I guess it's their synthetic, it's just their XL blend, but uh, which is 12,000 12, mile oil change intervals. But as you can see, you don't need to remove the tire. You can, um, you can easily, even with these 33s on here, I can fit my hand and arm back there and remove this with no problem. So now we'll get the new oil filter on and we'll get the oil put in and we'll be finishing up. All right, I got the old oil filter here draining. I uh, took my finger, got a little bit of oil on it. And you're always gonna wanna put a little bit of oil on these new O-rings here and also make sure the O-ring actually comes off. Uh, you don't wanna double O-ring it. Put a lot of pressure, your oil filter will fall off, oil spew, spew everywhere, speak from existence, I've done it as well. So um, with that, put some new, so a little bit of oil on this filter, or excuse me, on this O-ring. And then we're also don't want to run these dry on the car. So we're going to pour just a little bit in there. Maybe get it about a third or halfway full. Just so that there's a little bit of oil in this filter. And remember, this is going to take 6.2 quarts total. So we'll do six more quarts. And then that last, that seventh bottle, we'll uh, get that 0.2 to fill, fill the rest up. We'll go ahead and put this filter on here. Let's see if my light's still on. Yep. And with these, you don't want to put on super tight as well. I'm just going to hand tight, then snug it down. Oops. Once you get it threaded on there.
There we go, let's cut the threads. All right, let's touch the O-ring now. And I'm just doing it pretty good and hand tight. No, really tighter than that. There we go, that's perfect. So I'll snake this panel up here. I'll try to do it one-handed for you. There goes my light into the oil. Skin and get wet. All right, so we'll put the replace this panel, and uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but you can see mine's broken here. So, and I actually got some replacement pieces for it. I actually end up having to get a new one. Um, I've taken this off several times, like when I did my. Mishimoto catch can. I've already changed the oil before in this truck. It will fall apart pretty easily. So just push these back in and I'll get this set up and we're ready to pour the oil in. All right, now that our uh, oil filter's in, we double check, make sure our drain plug's in. We're ready to pour the oil in there. I like to leave these bottles sit for a second, let it all drain out. So I'll get this filled up and get this video finished up for you guys. All right, as you can see, I've got my cap back on there. I've got my dipstick out. I just wiped it off. I'm gonna check my oil level real quick. Flip that around. It's kind of hard to see because it's fresh oil on this GoPro here, but it's perfect. It's right there in between those, uh, that little hash mark area and below that, uh, below that second dot. All right, so let me get my skid plate back on and I'll wrap this video up for you guys. All right, I'm also gonna get the truck fired up real quick. Um, obviously, make sure there's no leaks, it doesn't explode, anything like that. So let me get started. to do a quick check. Make sure you're not leaking anything out. Go ahead and open up the garage here and I'll show y'all guys how to how to reset the oil fill oil um, oil live counter. Alright guys, so on your inside the truck, on uh, this side of the steering wheel, the left side, you'll go to so down here. Settings. You'll go to vehicle, oil life reset, and then you hold OK. And there you go. Just reset your oil life. We'll let the truck run for a few more minutes. Let it get up to temp. Oops. And then uh, I'll wrap it up again. All right, guys, got the oil changed out, and that was my quick little how-to video on changing your oil in your 2019 plus Ford Ranger. Hopefully, it helped you out. If you've got a Ford Ranger, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my build. Let me know what you're doing with your truck. I'd actually like to hear because I'm always looking for new ideas and things to try and do and suggestions as well. Um, in the last video, I installed my uh, rooftop tent. So I'm actually going to go camping here next week. And then at the end of the month, I'm actually going on a four day mule, mule deer hunting trip up in uh, the Panhandle. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe because I'll have a bunch more content on this truck here soon. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next Ranger video.